Well, welcome back to Subnautica. I am your humble host, Suze Asunder. And we all know what happened with this building. It's not just a building, it's also a giant gun that shot down my, my rescue party. Uh, which wasn't much of a rescue party, admittedly, but it, it might have helped. So I can continue uh, being aware of those birds to make sure they don't carry me off. But I will be exploring this island and then go back to the other island and finish exploring that one in this episode. Um, there, There is some easily accessible water here, which is always good because I think I'm pretty short on water right now until the plants in my boat are finished growing. I also have new messages that I haven't listened to, but I don't have a copper to build a radio at the moment, so... I will be doing that as soon as I find a copper or get back to my life pod. There's another key here, which is nice. And that should be enough. I think I only need two probably to get to get through this whole place. So let's let's try going in here. After I scan it of course, because I scan everything. And get rid of this forest field and see what's in the in the gun. Indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No integrity. Is found in database performing structural analysis. In other words, it's cool stuff that won't break. And this is data. Unknown language attempting translation. I was not possible to translate any useful information. Yeah, but it keeps going up like that. I didn't push up. I don't know why. It must be the aliens. Uh, it's likely a solid-state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. Uh, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. Mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply that designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Further research required. Not suggested. Required. You better keep researching these aliens, because they're awesome. And then there's these things. An ion cube. So these are what I was talking about, um, the, all the extra crazy good power cells that I just was given. You need these to make them usually, and I don't even have the recipes yet. So these are, these are pretty rare to find. Green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Likely grown artificially. Cause, Cause those awesome aliens are growing this just through power. That easy. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. And under the right conditions it could be used, released in a controlled manner. Which is trying to hint that I'll probably be able to use this um, to probably escape the island. Rocket propulsion. I think that's what's going to happen. So I'm just gonna take this. It's not like it. Yeah, just throw it around. <laughs> Dropping it won't won't cause the explosion of like a nuclear bomb or anything. It's it's fine. Just toss it. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. It can't be both. And another one. More data. It was required. And this is uh, details on the gun. It looks like enforcement platform, not not just a gun. So the important bits of this is that the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet, which I need to find. Location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy, meaning it's at the deepest horrible places in this ocean. Fun times. And pushing onwards. 
your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Well, I'm going down. Is, is that helpful then? If I were to fall to my death this way, that would be a good way to go. But no. And here's a giant moon pool if I wanted to drive my submarine in here. Which I probably could have just done, but oh well. Ew, I almost missed this. An alien rifle, which I think I scanned in the last one as well. So it's not totally new. Yeah, it looks cool. I can't have it though. And over here we have one end of a gateway. I'm not sure where the actual one that you can activate is, or why it leads back here. But maybe that's a new thing that they finally added, like like it's way down in the depths or something, and this is an easy way to get back there without having to swim all the way down or through submarine. And another cube, which is always good. I see a key. It's purple. And this thing, an alien device. It moved when I got near it. A doomsday device. This device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Yeah, yeah, fortunately is a bit of an understatement, I would think. I mean, it would take out the entire infected region here, but maybe a little overkill. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Well, then let's open this doorway. Open. This looks like a control room. I interact. Sure. Just push it. There you go. Don't push me back, please. Escalation. All I did was push a button. You didn't have to stab me. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Am I an infected individual? Let's check. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, yeah. detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. I'm definitely infected. I can't really fault this thing for doing its job. Guess I gotta go cure myself before I can push the button. This energy core apparently houses energy equivalent to a hundred megaton nuclear detonation. So maybe I should leave and just kind of leave it alone for now. And that's it for this facility. So, oh, that didn't hurt. Get over it. It didn't even hurt. Back up the elevator, I guess. Because uh, this is an elevator. So I exhausted this uh, facility for now. I'll probably have to be back if I eventually find a way to cure myself. But there's still some other things left on the island that I need to discover before I leave and go back to the first island. Hello bird. Um, um, I can scan the bird. Come back. Come back. Skyray. It didn't come back. I don't think I was ever able to scan those before. Ooh. I never scanned a biter. Might as well scan them when they can't bite me. Come on, biter. Come back, I said. He's scared now. And of course, then he bites me. <laughs> That's what I get. He lured me. It was too easy. Okay, now that I have a light, I think there was a cave entrance somewhere in this direction. I want to scan you. You don't want me to scan them. Can I, can I scan it?
Okay, let's scan it. You always get just out of range right before it finishes scanning them. Ow. Trying to sneak up on the birds. There we go, I finally scanned it. Sky ray. Bird like head, feathered wings which enable it to fly. Found circling above structures and rarely venture far out to sea. They look weird in the pictures. Well, it says their diet is mostly seeds, so I don't know why they'd carry someone away. Unless he's talking about a totally different bird. It's so dark in here. It's annoying, because then I can't sprint, because it immediately drops the light as soon as I, like, take... Oh, no, you're stepping fast. You can't hold that light. Just turn it off. Maybe I shouldn't fall down there. So I believe that that cave entrance that I pointed out earlier, if you took your seamoth through there, you'd end up coming up in that water. And uh, I really don't like that because then you, you have to walk out through all of these caves anyway. But why bother? Why not just land near shore? Make it easier. We get some more water from these guys since they're just sitting there. And finally, the sun is coming back. Maybe I won't have to use this as much. There's a key there. Some shrooms. Not the giant pink shrooms that have the worms in it. Just little shrooms that are nice. Don't buy me. And I'm going to take a few. Just so I can put them on my boat. And there's that key that I saw. Never have too many of those. Is this where the giant birds hang out? I hope not. There's a bunch of shale in these places. I don't really need the gold, but if there's like a diamonds everywhere, like that, I feel like I should at least take a few of them. And here's a teleporter. So this teleporter, ow, that one actually made me jump because I didn't hear him coming. Uh, this teleporter I can actually power with one of these things. Ooh, pity. But I'm not going to go in it yet because that will take me over to the other island, which I didn't think of before, but that's going to be a much quicker way to go over there and explore that one once I'm done here. And then I can just step right back through to get back to my ship. I have to finish exploring these caves first, getting all the good ingredients. Now, bunch of lithium. I thought there was usually more shale throughout here. Maybe they changed it because it was it was too much. The back diamond keeps rolling away from me. There we go. Ew. I gotta explore these caves at least before I head out. There's still way more shale than I have inventory space. So if I ever need lithium or diamonds, uh, this is the place to come back to because you'll always find a bunch of them. I dropped that gold a while back. I wonder how I got there. So many resources. Oh, I remember this spot. I guess I got another key if I drop something. Oh, stop. I said stop. Yeah, I wonder if they expanded this cave system or if I just never bothered to fully explore it. But some of this, some of this I don't remember. It's just a lot of resources, really. Um, there's there's not really much else in here that I've been able to find other than that portal. So I'm going to go back there because I'm completely full of uh, inventory. And it is easy to get lost in these caves. I finally got back. Uh, it just took a little longer than I thought it would. So I'm kind of tempted to go back to my ship and put some of the stuff away before I go over there in case I want to take stuff back, but I'm not sure how much I'll actually need to bring back. I guess I will, just in case. If only I could just jump there. But no, there is fall damage in this game now. That would be pretty humiliating if I die in hard code, hardcore mode uh, by just falling to my death. There, now all the stuff has been put away. And all my trees are grown. Look at that, I got potatoes here, little marble mounds there, and then some nice looking trees. I really don't like the lantern fruit because uh, they're not 
and they only give you 10 food and 3 water. It's not that much, so you gotta eat a bunch of them, but I'm pretty sure they regrow consistently, so you don't have to worry about like replanting them. But the marble melons are my favorite because they're decent, and the potatoes as well. The potatoes are better because you don't have to chop them to get seeds, you can just replant the last potato. They self seed. Oh, I get to say goodbye to Ezekiel again and uh, go back up there to the other island. A bit of a jog. And I don't mean to talk negative about this game, but I have noticed it getting a little choppy in this throughout these caves when you try to sprint this performance wise. So they haven't fixed all of the performance things, but it's still pretty, pretty darn good. Much improved from what it was. Maybe, maybe don't touch that. We have touched it. And I'm through. And good, it stays open so I can go back. So I know I didn't explore this island to get to this space, but I know it was there. So I think this is like in the middle of the island somewhere. Yeah, it's right above this, this little lake in the middle of the island. The door to it, or cave entrance, not a door, can be a little difficult to find because it's just this right here. Um, easy to overlook a little hole in the rack if you're not walking right there. So I'm going to go on a scanning spree. I found their secret gardens. Yeah, so a marble melon is... Oh, I guess they cut that down. It used to be 22 something and whatever. They're still the best. All right, I made it back here where the where the horrible jumpy things were biting me. And I think there's at least a couple things to scan somewhere. What is, what is that? A bulkhead. Okay, that's one. It's useful because I think it adds structural integrity to your base, but it is a little annoying to open. I mean, it's supposed to be to prevent flooding, but I'm not really sure that it works uh, very well for that. There's a thing down there. It's going to hit me as soon as I get down there. It is. I know it. I knew it. Now you're dead. Shouldn't have hit me. A new log. So I'm I'm trying to read these in order, um, but because they're they're based on the person, I think this one counts as one of the beginning ones. So I'm just gonna play it. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son Bart and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made us salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken our life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. So, uh, that I think was supposed to be the first one, and I think I just picked up uh, most of them here as well. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Signal for what? Well, I guess I'll find out after I read them. So, I listened to Bart, Bart's little thing that I got in the, uh, the mushroom cave. Uh, about his his getting his furries and that that's that's not good, but let's see what happened to him after that. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. 
your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief! What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Nice. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. There we go. Next one. Uh, there's there's some little drama going on between father and son and mercenary uh, as general families go You see chief you brought us to this sodden planet told us we'd see a lush payday Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew a habitat that's half buried food washed away I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets that's something you don't want to learn the hard way easy to judge a decision in hindsight harder to come up with a plan of your own got one already Take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site, a couple hundred meters deep, lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Sure you will. I have a feeling he's not gonna review that at all. He's just he's just gonna shut that down right now because those are terrible ideas. And I guess I missed one. That one should have been first. But oh well. Let's hear it now. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is, oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You wanna forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. So the question I have, if if this captain or whoever he is, uh, is definitely very Scottish, why does his son speak with a British accent? I mean, you could say, oh, maybe his mother was British and he was only raised by her, but uh, that that just seems a little sketchy to me. Why are they two different accents? Very different at that. Okay, they made a curious discovery of some what kind. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. So I assume that the glowing thing they're talking about is that purple key uh, that was in the other building. Um, of course, I know what they do, but they haven't found those alien places that they're used for, I guess. And the drama continues. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. 
I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. Not always. Uh, sometimes they're out for their own devices and uh, they don't want money. Or they find other things that are more important than money, like survival. She already sort of suggested cannibalism on the fly anyway. So maybe there are other motivations that you might want to worry about other than money. So where'd they go? We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Well, I'm going to say they probably shouldn't uh, go farther down, even though that's exactly what I'm going to be doing, because uh, they don't know what I know. I know I need to go farther down to uh, find that energy station that it talked about and hopefully cure myself of a disease that I actually know I have. Um, but they're, they're just going down there to, to find a better place to live, which seems like a really stupid decision. So I'm trying to find the cave again where, where I got in here, because I think I've gotten everything on this island. Uh, is there another log? No, I think that's all of the Degasi ones so far, except for this one. They came back. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, <sighs> I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. My father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. So, I think they died, and it did not go very well. Is this the right cave? Is it? No. So I'm not entirely sure um, how uh, Bart's father and the mercenary die. Maybe they made a mistake, finally found the cave. Uh, maybe they died of the infection, but it definitely sounds like Bart is now totally infected with that stuff, and he's going to die soon. So uh, that, that's what happened to all the Degasi people, which was, I guess, the last ship that happened to get shot down that actually had survivors. The sunbeam was just so small that they, they couldn't really do much. But the Degasi at least had a shot. They just they, they kind of blew it. And I'm back. Back to the boat and let's find somewhere else to go. So I don't think the survival knife actually has durability anymore, which which is as it should be in my opinion, because it was really annoying to have to rebuild it, especially if you're using it to uh, cut every fourth plant or whatever to replant it to get the seeds. So uh, this is much better to not have durability. I'm glad they kept that in the final release. Why is it just showing sea moths and not submarine? Okay, I guess it didn't want to show both icons. But it's here. I was worried about a Zeke deal. Okay, so it looks like the uh, the waypoint that it gave me during those those lore 
entries was the same uh, habitat that was in the shroom forest, unfortunately. So I don't have a new one. Um, I was just looking through all my waypoints to see what I want to do next. I could build a base, or I could start exploring deeper just with my submarine, because it is sustainable. But first, I, f I think I need to go uh, check my messages again, and I think there's going to be more to explore once I do that. So I either need to find a copper or go back to my life pod. I'll probably just go find a copper. Also, what I'm going to do is remove one of these ion power cells. Uh, because I want to put one in my Seamoth instead to give it the giant range. So I'm going to do that. Leave me alone, biter. You can't bite that. You can try, but it's not going to do anything. So my Seamoth should be able to go um, as far as it wants now because the power would last a whole lot longer. I mean, it can still go to only 300 the depth, but other than that, it's fine. And I know for a fact that reapers are around this mountain. I just don't know where, so it's very dangerous. Go away. Okay. So I found a copper. If this guy will stop talking at me. And I can equip my habitat builder there. And finally, put in a radio. And I'll just put it here, because that's a good spot. Now what is what is on it? I know I'm backed up. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright, I can do that. And I kind of want to get my sub away from this area anyway. So I'm going to take it most of the way to uh, wherever that waypoint was. Way over there. This is bad. I don't like when it's this open. Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's back in the mushroom place it looks like. Or beyond it. And that's the other reason why I brought my uh, Cyclops because I figured I'd probably get other messages along the way. They seem to be delayed, like it'll only hold one at a time and then wait a minute before it gives you another one, even if you're backed up. This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Whoa. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Yeah, that, that's not going to be great. If you don't have a fabricator, you're pretty much screwed. You need that to build the basics, even. So, let's see about this life pod 12. I'm close enough. I'm just taking the quick one out. There's these things around. It's a dangerous place. I'm equipping my stasis rifle again. I'm making sure it has power. Just in case, because there's a whole lot of dangerous fish around here. I like this zone though. It's cool. It's too deep, but it looks cool. It's doing the not loading in thing again. That's not right. It fixed itself, I think. Detecting volcanic activity and like right there. Unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise caution when diving deeper. Alright, will do. A common bulb bush. And I know I need rubies. There's an infected one. Yeah, I thought I needed a couple of rubies to build like one of the other one of the power chargers, probably the power cell charger. So now I should be a little closer to doing that. And let's see how this guy died. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. 
For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. I think you probably already did die down here. So I want to scan one of these electric guys if I can. And I also kind of want to explore this place. Whoa. Whoa. What happened to him? It just it just got flung. I I can you can you stay there please? There we go. An amp eel. They look cool, but very, very dangerous. Okay. Hi. Thank you for your time. I gotta be really cautious being here because this does not look like anywhere that I wanna be. Because, because Reapers, if it goes deeper than 300, it usually means I shouldn't be here. When these sharks keep freaking me out. What? 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 Why? What are you? I'm. I'm. I am human. I am a person from from the ship, the thing that that irradiated your planet. I'm one of them. Probably not a good intro. Well, that's definitely new. Um. That thing never talked to me before. Yeah, little, 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 this is basically. Probably shouldn't be taking this down here because it's barely big enough. But I'm fine. I can do it. I don't even know where I'm going. Alright, I've had enough of being on the edge here. I'm going back to my submarine. Maybe go find that other life pod if I haven't already. Because this is not good. As soon as I repaired it, I got back in and it said I hit a tiny fish that took it right back down. Is there a wreck right there? I think that is a wreck. I'll explore that once I repair. Oh, stop. Go away. I guess I should leave here. But I do want to explore this wreck. Even though it's dangerous. If I can find the way in. Is there even a way in? Jeez. Ah, yeah, right there. That yeah, looks good. Alright, so everything in here is pieces of things I already have. Except there is a laser door, so I will be back. After just topping off the air. And I have a new message once they go back to my sub. Anything in here. Another log. What's this? The sonar upgrade. That seems useful. And more stuff that I already have. So that's the end of that, and I am going back to my boat, if I can find it. There it is. Hello, Ezekiel. Back here in the relatively safe mushroom place. Well, I know this episode is... Uh, Wow, they don't like my submarine. They're not hurting it, it's just the sharks, but they don't like it out there. So this episode has turned out to be uh, mainly lore and uh, exploring the islands. I, I'm guessing that it took up a lot of time listening to all that lore. So um, I think I'm going to end the episode here and uh, start figuring out what to do next and uh, building a base probably either in between episodes or in the next one and then I can start going uh, really deep and exploring some of the end game places uh, once I have a little bit more stable 
have a base. I really only need to just farm a few equipments for the chargers and then I can survive indefinitely on my submarine and I think I'll just do mostly that. I'll put like one little base as an outpost for wherever I'm going to launch from to go deeper but that's about it. So this, this ship is moving. I think they're pushing it. Yeah, so I'm going to head probably either to the south area that I haven't been or back over to those floating islands and do something there. So let me know if you have a preference of which one I should go to first, but many thanks for watching this video, and until next time, may your spoons remain.